actually been through a breakup before. Never. Bless you. <laughs> to the rest of us living in the real world. <laughs> I've been through a breakup, and you don't realize how petty you can become until you break up with somebody. And so, like, after my last breakup, I found myself keeping stuff I had no business keeping, like the Netflix password, because it just made sense to me. And so, in the vein of pettiness, I wrote this series of poems called Petty Poems, and they're exactly what they sound like. They're like me doing poems about stuff you probably shouldn't tweet about your ex. And so I just put them in poetry because it's a lot more widely accepted there. So, um... <laughs> One of my favorite forms of poetry is called the haiku. And haiku are super short poems. They're only three lines. They have five syllables for the first, seven for the second, and five for the third. So I do a little crowd call and response where I say five, seven, five. You say five, seven, five, and I give you the poem, okay? Five, seven, five. Five, seven, five. I tripped over my own bra today. <laughs> I guess that's what you call a booby trap. <laughs> Five, seven, five. Five, seven, five. I wanted a ring in exchange for loyalty. So did LeBron James. Woo! Thank you. I'll be here the next 25 yeah. minutes. <laughs> I like y'all. Anybody have this friend that you can't take nowhere? I have this friend. Are you the friend? Oh my God. I enjoy you so much already. I have this friend that I can't take nowhere, and it's not because she's like loud or boisterous, she's just one of those people with so many dietary restrictions you don't want to be seen in public with her. Like we go out and she's like, um, do y'all have anything vegan, gluten free, soy free, responsibly farmed? I'm like, this is Waffle House, they have nothing like that. <laughs> nothing. 